My dad always had a saying. He'd say, son, is that a want or a need? Today we're going to talk about the Chef IQ thermometer and discover if it's a want or a need. Stick around and I'll show you what we've done. Today we're doing a quick unboxing of the Chef IQ smart thermometer. We're going to unbox it and I'm going to come back in a little while and uh, do a review on it. I'm going to try it out. Today I'm smoking a, a pork butt so that'll be his first trial and then I'm going to try some other things with it. So yes, yeah, stick around and we'll see how this thing goes through the paces and I'll tell you what I think about it at the end. So let's unbox this and see what we have inside. Should be straightforward. I've had uh, other thermometers that were wired, uh, but I want to be able to put something inside my air fryer and uh, without running the cord out of it. But you can see it comes in a nice little, little carrying case here. And then I got the one with two in it. Yeah, that's a really nice case. You can see what the probes look like. Now I'm gonna go get this thing going and see how it starts out. Not a lot to it, pretty straightforward. Got a little cover for the case here. So yeah, let's try it out. And I just turn something on. Okay, I gotta go download an app, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything taken care of now. I had to charge the uh, base station there. I uh, had to download an app. And that was fairly easy. Had to register it and all that stuff. Should be noted that there is a charging cable with it. And then on the bottom there is your, there's some indicators. The white over there says it's connected to my Wi-Fi, which is right there inside that room. I mean, you see right here. Uh, it's showing a pretty good signal there. And then uh, there's a blue indicator light that's not on right now to the left of that. Got your charging port, your power button, and this will actually talk to you as well when you're going through the process. So anyway, very nice base station. And then it comes with you some paperwork, a quick start guide and stuff. So smoke's already rolling. I started that up uh, about an hour or so ago. Uh, inserted the probe in it and uh, I'll show you what's happened here so I've got it set up here and uh, showing the internal temperature of 101 I've got the target set for 201 because I'm not sure how accurate it is I'm going to come out and uh, test it with my thermopop and it's showing that my drum temperature is 314 all right it's that's been out here for a little while I've added some uh, turkey breast to it and I put the second probe in that uh, right now the butt the Boston butt is saying it's had a 163 internal uh, it was saying it has an ambient temperature of a 206 and the other one said like 170 something ambient the one that's over here in the uh, uh, turkey but uh, and then it says the turkey internal right now is let me look uh, 132 so I'm gonna probe them to see how close they are right around now just to make sure they're not completely out of the ballpark I'm going I'm going to use my trusty thermopop and I'll try to get kind of close and the other thing is saying actually I say 162 and the other probe is saying 163 so that's pretty close now let's look at the turkey I don't know if you can see it, but it says 133 for the turkey there. And we'll look at the uh, probe. It's saying 133 as well, so the internal temperature is spot on. So we'll put the lid back on and let her cook. Hey, if you're interested in a keto, low carb lifestyle, let me invite you to subscribe, and ring the bell, and all that good stuff. Like the video. Uh, I normally try to do stuff that's real simple and easy. And uh, I appreciate you watching today, and we'll carry on with the video. 
As you can see, I've got a pan of meatloaf muffins here. And I love making these, they're an easy treat for work. And uh, the last batch I tried to make, I dried them out pretty bad. So this batch, I'm gonna probe them and try to get it up to about 160. Uh, as you can see, the probe don't go in exactly right, uh, but I'm gonna run with it to at least get me in the ballpark and we'll see how they turn out. Well, as you can see, I'm still testing out the probe, uh, the wireless thermometer. I got it in a, this kind of application now just to play around, see what it does, but close the lid and let these burgers cook up. Well, I got me a Spam burger there. My wife got her a burger. And the temperature thing just said they're 160. I go that high because there's turkey in it. So we'll take these off and chow down. See how it goes. Here's my big old burger I just cooked up out on the grill. Uh, the thermometer was pretty consistent with the thermopop and what I know to be about the right timing. So I don't want to eat. Check this out though. Mm, monster burger. All right, today I'm trying out one more recipe with the uh, wireless thermometer. As you can see, I've got it inserted into a chicken tender. We're going to do some bacon wrapped chicken tenders in the air fryer. Uh, we want these to come up to about 165. That way we know they're done and we'll see how it works out in there. The tenders are in there cooking. That's saying it's about halfway done up there. Showing uh, Temperature of the cooker, temperature of the chicken. Now I'm gonna flip them over and finish them off. All right, now let's talk about this Chef IQ wireless thermometer. Um, first of all, let's talk about what's the real purpose behind this? Why, why do I need this or why do I want this? Well, for me, I was wanting uh, to be able to use it in the air fryer. Um, that was the primary reason I got it. I wanted to be able to cook, to cook chicken in the air fryer and not have to worry about uh, wires coming out the side of it or anything. Uh, I didn't want to dry out my chicken. so. What's the purpose of any thermometer? Let's discuss that for a minute. Uh, the purpose really is to prevent foodborne illness. Uh, a thermometer is really the only reliable way to determine if your food is cooked to a safe temperature. Um, there's all kinds of charts out there for chicken and pork and fish or whatever your, your temperature ranges are. Um, I highly... <laughs> recommend that you get your food done so you don't get food poisoning and also another purpose is so you don't just completely dry out your food i know my mom uh, always aired on the side of caution she would cook chicken till it was just rubber a lot of times or pork chops until they were just chewy uh just way overcook them just to be on the safe side uh so i'm trying to prevent that that ditch as well so when you know what temperature to cook your food at it makes it juicier you know you're not going to get botulism or anything crazy and it's going to come out really well so that's the purpose now let's talk about the cost for just a minute i've got a couple thermometers here uh yeah and they all work really well i mean they're all really accurate um this was my my first uh, investment in a thermometer. Before this, I had the old dial kind that you jabbed it in there and it would kind of fall out of the meat because the, the probe was about an inch thick and, and it took about 15 minutes to register and it was crazy. This changed everything for me. Uh, this is an instant read thermopop. It's made by Thermaworks. Um, super fast, two or three seconds, and you've got an accurate reading. You don't have to uh, get third degree burns on your arm if you're over the grill. I know some of you have probably done that before, or it might have just been me, but anyway, this is a Thermopop. I highly recommend it. And then I moved to this. This is a Thermopro, uh, and how this works is you stick this 
close to your smoker. It's got a magnet on the back. You can actually mount it and you run a wire into the, the smoker and run it in your meat. And what happens is this, this has a reading on it. And then also it has this, and this is a transmitter and this, you can bring this inside the house and you can get an accurate reading. Uh, this has got four ports. Uh, you can put one for the ambient temperature of the grill or the smoker uh, and that still gives you three probes to like if you've got turkey and pork and beef you can run a wire probe into all of them you can see your readings here this thing works great it's got different levels on it you know the high and low to uh to alert you if something's going on but that was what i moved to next it works great but this is tethered with the wire and you're kind of limited in, in that uh, and then i thought well since i got the new air fryer um, i don't want to run that wire around the door because it's got a little latch and you got to have it latched before the thing comes on so i thought well let's try this out and in the video, you saw the applications that I used it in. I tried to use it in everything that I cook with, except for the microwave. I'm sure that probably wouldn't be a recommended <laughs> um, use of it, but the air fryer, the oven, the grill, the smoker, um, I used it all in all those applications and it done really well, uh, with the exception of uh, one thing, and I'll get to that in a minute, but. So let's talk a little more about this. Let's talk about the range. And now on the description, it says unlimited range Bluetooth. And I think it should have said unlimited range slash Bluetooth or Bluetooth, something different because the way this works and what threw me off a little bit is once you take that probe out, and you put it in your meat and then you have this base station which by the way you'll need to charge this before you get started um it, it's got a little charge on it just so you can turn it on and, and kind of see what's going on but go ahead and as soon as you get it plug it in and let it charge up so and after it's charged that light will stay it'll blink green right there it'll just blink until it's fully charged and then it'll be a steady green and then you're ready to go and then so uh, when you place these probes inside the cradle here these will charge also and then uh, when you start out what what I done was I put the probe in the meat and I took this all the way to the other side of the house to plug it into charge and I was getting aggravated because I'm like this thing don't work it says unlimited range and nothing's working right well, now let me explain that. This has to be, first of all, you have to connect it to your internet. There's a little uh, thing to connect it to your Wi-Fi, and it does have Bluetooth. But when you connect it to your internet, it does have unlimited range. In fact, I left the house and went about 30 miles up the road with my neighbor, and uh, I was sitting in the a parking lot seeing what my barrel was running at. So. It does have unlimited range, but this base has to be close enough to that probe to pick it up. And that range is limited. Uh, I just placed this outside. You, you saw it in the uh, video and I kind of put it close. Uh, by the way, this thing will talk to you. It'll give you all kinds of audible alarms and tell you that your ambient temperature is dropping, that your food's about done. It's got, I don't, I mean, if that's important to you, that's good. But I didn't use it because it was outside and I was sitting in this room looking at it on my phone. And the phone will alert you too with a notification of all those things that this thing's telling you. So just be aware of that. It works really well with your Wi-Fi. If you turn the Wi-Fi off, like say for instance, if you're at a park or something or you're away from your Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi signal and you still want to use this, you can uh, with the Bluetooth on your phone but that lane that range is definitely limited you just think about your earbuds you know when you get out of range of your phone too far away same thing happens with this if the bluetooth you get away from it 
Um, it'll cut out on you and all you gotta do is walk back over and it'll reconnect, but that's enough of that about the range. Um, let's talk about the cost. Uh, this is kind of the, the Cadillac of the three here. Uh, let's talk about this here. This, this is 35 bucks, okay? Very accurate, 35 bucks. Um, this, this setup here was uh, 89.99, say 90 bucks. And you can get it on sale uh, right now on Amazon for 59 bucks. So that's a good deal if you want to get that. And then this is 129.77 for the dual probes. And I figure I might as well spring for two. Um, but that's the cost. And it is, like I said, I guess the Cadillac of the group. Um, but it's very versatile, I think, and, uh, and I, it should be it should be worth it in the long run. Uh, so that's the cost. All right, the next thing is cleaning. Are they hard to clean? Now these, this one here with the wire on it, uh, it it's kind of tough to clean sometimes. I scrape it and I leave the seasoning on it, I guess sometimes. I just, I don't worry about it a whole lot. I, uh, I'll clean it and sanitize it real good before I use it. Uh, this one I noticed that it's kind of a, first of all, this tip that reads the ambient temperature is ceramic. And it does have a number on it, it says one and that one says two. Um, but it's real slick, the point's real slick. Uh, I've used it on all those applications and I simply just took a, a, a wet rag and, and just cleaned it off and it shined right back up. So it's real easy to clean. It's simple to use. Here's the only con to it. If for some reason or another you don't have a smartphone, um, this will not work. You, there's no indicators anywhere on this to tell you what the temperature is of the food. So you have to have an app for this to function. Whereas this, it won't work with an app, but it has the, the uh, numbers actually on there so you can see what it is. So I guess that would be the only con. Uh, the app's really cool because there's recipes, there's presets in it. Um, there's a ton of information there. I'm not gonna go into all that, but man, there's, there's a lot of good information. Uh, and matter of fact, there's recipes when you, you start it, you just press one button and it starts the temperature and the time and all that good stuff. And it gives you way more information than you probably need. Uh, or you can just do, uh, a quick set like if you want to do chicken you can just go ahead and program it 165 internal and then plug it in there and, and then eventually it'll calculate and tell you approximately uh, how much time it's going to take so that's pretty cool just to be on the safe side uh, I said on all of it I said at just a few degrees lower than what I wanted it to go so I could probe it with this and see if it was pretty accurate. And these are these were pretty much in sync with each other. But um, just to err on the side of caution, I always just go a couple degrees lower and then I'll check it and run it for a few more minutes or whatever till I get it to where I want it to be. But that, that's just me, that's my preference. Uh, if you want to run it all the way up to what it says, that's fine. I mean, like I said, it was it was really close, maybe within a degree or two of this one. Uh, yeah, in my in my cooking, it's not going to matter. Maybe in yours, but I can live with that. You saw all the applications that I used it in, and as far as the meatloaf muffins, I put that in there, and it really is supposed to be inserted up to the black right here for it to work properly and I just put like the tip of it in there. Now this you can register with just the tip. You can just stick the tip in and whatever the temperature is on the tip of this is the temperature. This one, I don't know, it, it, you have to have it in there. It says up to here uh, and it seemed to impact it a little bit but I was happy that it worked inside the oven and it, it read and, and it got me in the ballpark for those. If it had been a full size meatloaf, I would have been able to put it in there all the way and uh, get it pretty close that way. So. so my conclusion is I would recommend it if you don't mind spending a couple dollars. Uh, like I said, it is the Cadillac of uh, these, I guess. Um, so I'll go back to my first question. 
Is that a want or a need? And in this case, I'm going to say both. <laughs> I, I, I needed a thermometer for my air fryer, but I really wanted the bells and whistles that come with this. And, and uh, you know, I could have just cooked it and timed it and checked it with that and been okay with it. But I know I'll use this in my smoker, on my grill, in the oven, in the air fryer. Uh, it'll probably take the place of this one. Uh, so I guess it just depends on if you're willing to spring for or spring for the cost of it. Uh, I recommend it. I think it's a great product. And just as a disclaimer, hey, look, I bought this stuff out of my own pocket. There's nobody. I mean, they didn't send me one for free to try or anything like that. That's just my opinion. And. Uh, I bought that based on somebody else's word of mouth opinion against another brand. I, I trust my friends. If they say they bought something and it didn't read from here to there, uh, I take that into account just like I'm sure you do. But in my opinion, it gets a thumbs up. It's accurate. It's easy to use. Um, easy to clean. And I say go for it. It'll improve your cooking game. And if you can only afford one item on this table, I say get this. If you can only afford one, get something that's fast to read. So I promise you, using a thermometer will not only keep you safe from being sick, it'll make your food a whole lot better. And until next time, may the Lord bless you, keep your hots hot and your colds cold. Go buy you one if you want one. If you don't need one and you want one, go buy one, whatever you need to do. <laughs> it don't matter.